Alright, hi guys. So today we're going to talk about a life update of sorts. I'm going to tell you why I've lost some of my consistency, why I haven't been posting as much, and I'm very sorry about that, by the way, but let's just get right into it. I'm going to talk about the biggest problem I've had recently, and it's a problem that's plagued my mind quite a bit and made me think a lot of negative thoughts and stuff. But before I do that, I'll just tell you why I wasn't like, as consistent as I normally was. So I went on a staycation with my parents and we just had a nice little vacation sort of we just you know went to a hotel and had fun and basically i just didn't feel like recording there and that's my fault that's i have to be accountable for that i just haven't been recording as much lately as well because i just sort of a creative block in a way but sort of laziness mostly just laziness and i'm sorry about that that's something i need to fix something i need to do better and i just felt really demotivated because of this problem that I'm going to tell you about which is basically the basically it's my social life <laughs> it's been absolutely just non-existent lately like I haven't I just have nothing really to do except just stay home and what I mean is that I'm not really going out much with friends I'm not really going on dates and stuff and that's a big problem because I'm like I'm a self-improvement YouTuber and that's one part of my life I really need to self-improve and I'll tell you the story basically <clears throat> sorry about that I'm also a bit sick but it's not that big a deal it'll go away soon anyway so I was just thinking about all the past experiences I had where I actually had a lot of opportunities to grow my social network to become more of a social person so many so many opportunities i'll, I'll remove this because it's kind of hot so many opportunities when i was younger like in <clears throat> seventh to ninth grade even in sixth grade i had a lot of a lot of opportunities to be more social with my friends go out more i just never really felt like it i just always felt more like an inter introvert i felt more comfortable at home i felt more i felt like i enjoyed myself more just alone or with my parents and family so I just didn't go out much with friends and that was a big problem now it's a big problem now because you know I'm supposed to be self-improvement youtuber supposed to be social with a lot of people and that's the one thing I'm really really bad at as of right now but it is a skill and I'll continue to improve it but I'll tell you like some of these opportunities I had so in sixth grade I had the opportunity to join like a whatsapp group <laughs> This is before WhatsApp became super popular, I think. So, uh, sixth grade, I I rarely used my phone at all, almost never. Usually, just played video games and watched TV. So I I just didn't really use social media that much, and I wasn't very updated on that sort of part of my life. So I didn't use WhatsApp very much, but I got invited into the WhatsApp group of my class and. They were talking about inappropriate things, basically. <laughs> you know, they're cursing and stuff. And as a young, sheltered child, I, that scared me. <laughs> that scared me. I thought, it's like, oh, it's a devil. Ooh. <laughs> so I just, eventually, I just left the WhatsApp group, I remember. And I never really hung. I never really hanged out. Hung out. I never really hung out with my friends from elementary that much. I never really went out with them, you know. Like, on parties and stuff, I never really went. Sometimes they'd invite me, but a lot of times I just didn't. I didn't accept. And honestly, I don't even remember because it's so long ago. And when I went to... When I was in middle school, I changed school. So that was like the perfect time to like build a new identity, become that social person. But I didn't really care back then, you know, before you know about self-improvement stuff. Honestly, though, I feel like you don't actually really exist. It's just side tangent, but I feel like you don't really exist before ninth grade like your mind just doesn't really work to its full potential it's like it's sort of like you're playing uh what do you call it like the free trial of a game rather than playing the actual game you know that's how i feel like you're not actually thinking that much you're just going with the flow that's why i feel it was like in since i was born until grade seven to eight I just didn't really exist. I didn't really develop a personality just yet. I wasn't fully baked, basically. And I feel like most people aren't. Because I talked about this with a friend of mine anyway. It's just that I haven't been going out as much as I want it to be. I haven't been going out as much at all. 
So, but uh, last week, or last last week, I went out with a couple of friends, and it was like really uncomfortable. I just, uh, it, it was fun, I have to admit, but it was very uncomfortable, and these are people I haven't talked to in a while. We could sort of grow apart, but it was still fun. But I realized that if you feel uncomfortable about these new experiences, it's probably a good thing because it means you're growing. It means you're developing and stuff. You're learning more and you're becoming a better person. So that's kind of good. But I just don't have any plans like, after that point. Right right now, I don't actually have any plans to go out. And that's a problem. I probably should schedule something. I don't know. Because <clears throat> it's like... when I, I keep saying like, and I'm sorry about that. Oh, and then my flu is getting a bit irritating. But anyway, I'll tell you another opportunity I had when I was younger to be more social where I had this really close friend that I talked to online almost every day. This is during online school, so I was in 8th grade, ninth grade. And I had this friend, she was a girl, and we were very, very close. We talked a lot. And she was like an absolute socialite. I think that's what I used to call her. Like she was straight up a socialite. Just so many friends, so many connections. Uh, went out a lot with friends and stuff. And she'd invite me. She'd invite me a lot of the times to go out, watch movie and stuff. And I, I always said no. I always said no. There was, I only went out with her like one time with a couple of group of friends. And yeah, I was just horrible back then, you know, like. First of all, because I wasn't as good a friend as I should have been. And that's the case for a lot of my friendships and stuff. And that's probably why we're not very, we're not close at all anymore. And that's, that's something I need to improve to. I need to be a better friend. Because, yeah, I just need to be a bit less selfish in that sense. So when I already have a friend, I need to make sure that I appreciate them enough. That's a, that's a side tangent anyway. So I had so many opportunities to actually go out and stuff and be more social, but I, it's like God gave me an opportunity, right? I accidentally just stepped on it and it broke, you know? And he kept doing that, you know? I, I, I really realized how many opportunities I had to be more social back in the day. So many. Um, yeah, there were so many like friend groups I was part of, so many uh, people, socialites that I knew but we just drifted apart because I never actually took the time out of my day to go out with them because I was so antisocial. I was such a loser. I thought, and when I did start learning about self-improvement, once I realized about it, once I knew about it, I thought, oh, I should stay home to grind to monk mode, you know? Oh my God, that's one of the biggest regrets I've had and I hope you don't have to go through that. So if you have a friend group, 100% go out as much as you possibly can. Obviously, if you're sick, maybe don't. But if you're not sick, then you should go out with your friends. If you have a socialite friend, like, this might sound horrible, but take full advantage of them. Take full advantage. Just go out as much as possible. Have fun. Because you're going to regret it once you're, like, my age. I'm 16 now. And I'm just not very social. And part of me thinks, oh, shoot, I'm going to have to wait until college, you know. <laughs> I'm going to have to wait until college <clears throat> until I can have that, like, social fun life. And it's sad, <laughs> you know, it's kind of sad. So, yeah, 100%, you should be going out with friends. See the opportunities that God gives to you because you don't want to accidentally step on them and break them like I did. And the biggest thing that helped me with this problem, and not really helped me as in made, uh, gave me more chances to go out and stuff, but basically helped me deal with it is that I reminded myself that I shouldn't beat myself up over it. I shouldn't feel so down just because, yeah, I don't get to go out as much as I'd like. It's okay. It's sort of like the fat person. And this is something I learned from Hamza, where the fat person that goes to the gym, if he just starts beating himself up because he's not making the progress he wants to just yet, if he looks in the mirror and he's still fat, you know, he shouldn't beat himself up over that because as long as he keeps trying, as long as he just doesn't give up, he will improve 100% and he'll get abs eventually. He'll definitely get those rock hard abs if he keeps training. And same for me. If I just keep going to uncomfortable social events, eventually I'll become social, right? I just need to put in the initiative, put in the effort. And I have to put in the effort to keep making these videos for you guys because it really is a joy. And 
I'm very happy to be here. So, just a reminder to you, keep fighting for a better tomorrow. Don't give up.